Oh my. There it goes. There goes the frames. All right. Hello, world. If you can hear this, that's good news. You've tuned into the right place. If you noticed, I'm also in a different spot. I'm always in a different spot. I'm all over the place, okay? I like to travel. I also... like coffee and I think I ruined this coffee because I took a dark chocolate bar piece and I just dropped it in this morning and now it tastes like water. I don't think that's how they add that mocha chocolate taste that tastes so good at the coffee shop. I think I did it wrong. I don't know what I'm doing, but I love coffee. You like this mug? Check it out. Honky Mick Hong Kong. All right. Honk like you mean it, all right? Be loud, go loud. Be somebody, because somebody else is gonna be somebody if it's not you. All right, so today you've tuned in because you want to see, well, first of all, let's talk about that, okay? I was looking last night, I couldn't sleep all night, by the way. If you can't tell, I'm at the beach, all right? Got a little sun yesterday, it was a fantastic day, apparently, they had to save 40 people, 40 people in a matter of, you know, an hour or something like that. So they made everybody in the entire beach get out. This is a big ass beach. OK, this is massive. And uh, they made everybody get out because the rip currents were so strong. It's the end of the season. There's a storm coming in today. So if my Internet cuts out, we'll have to continue this later. But uh, my laptop is about to melt as we speak. I have <laughs> strapped my 4K camera on the top. Last time I used my, um, my phone and I would stream it, you know, wirelessly through my router and it was choppy. This is choppy, but the image quality is pretty good. You know, I'm pretty satisfied. It looks pretty good. Um, I don't like these cameras with the wide angles. It makes my head like I have like, you know, kind of a I got kind of a head, you know, but it just it make it turns you into like a caricature, you know, like if you got like a like a big nose, it'll make your nose look like freaking huge, you know, or you got a big mouth, it'll make it huge. So I don't like the way that these cameras are just a, a personal thing. But last night I was checking my phone, you know, I was trying to sleep and I was like, let's see how the voting went. And you savages <laughs> made it into a tie. You made it into a tie. What do I mean? Well, let's check it out. This is what I'm talking about. You savages. Hold on. Let me hide myself for, for a second here. You savages voted 50% for each. Both of these. So I will be doing the Pico plus accelerometer plus the OLED. I think the last stream had a really good response really quickly. I think people are still searching for this. There's, of course, there's other videos out there, right? But it's not my video, right? Okay, it's not mine. So I think, um, if anything, people are able to find it. So I'm very interested in uh, making more videos about the Pico. I think the Pico is an excellent platform. And like I said in the last stream, I should have jumped on it uh, sooner. But I was like, I don't know, I, I have this like perfectionist mindset at the time. And I really wanted to get the uh, the AVR stuff out there. But there's no audience. I was the audience. It was me. I was the one who was interested in it and nobody else was. So and the Pico is just so damn cheap. You have to pick one up. It's four dollars. It's four dollars. If you don't have four dollars, you need to make a cash app or a PayPal like I have in the link in the description below. So check it out. It's for the hair fund. Watch it grow and grow, baby. Let's watch it grow and grow. The longer it grows, the more powerful I become, okay? So get a Pico. If I would recommend getting the, the wireless version of the Pico. It's like $6 in the US, definitely. If you can get your hands on any type of Pico, get it. They're still, they're in stock. Uh, when I checked out uh, Canada, you have pieshop.ca. I like to use pieshop.us. It's kind of local. And um, 
I like, you know, to buy stuff locally. Um, but I, I, I was like kicking myself for not getting into that earlier, but you know, it is what it is. And now I'm excited and I'm starting to get my head around object oriented programming. It is a whole different animal. And I still, I think I'll always like C. I think most people like the first language that they, they try to learn the most, um, in terms of programming chips or whatever, you know, I'm not a programmer though. I'm an artist. All right. Look at me. Do I look like a programmer? No, I'm an artist. Okay. Um, I like to go outside. I like to kayak. I like to swim. I'm part dolphin. Um, you know, so I chose to do the zero W plus the camera. Now the reason was I'm kind of biased. I have always wanted to do a stream or, or a video with the Raspberry Pi Zero uh, boards. Look at how green this thing is. Just look at it. Isn't that amazing? I think these boards are super sexy. Um, people use them in their little retro gaming devices, the, the retro pies. Oh, look at the frame strap. That's awesome. Um, hopefully you can hear me. These things are incredible. The only problem is I wouldn't recommend buying one right now. See, you should have listened to me when I made my video many months ago when I was wearing, well, I had like some skin issues and I was all blue, you know? Um, we don't talk about it, right? I, I suggested in a previous video, which is actually my number one video on Odyssey, and um, I told you to buy as much as you could, stock up. All right, it's just like the ammo situation. You stock up when you can because now people are selling these boards, the Raspberry Pis and, and, and the, the Zero Ws in particular, for $70 to $90. If you buy one for $70 to $90, I don't know what to say to you. You should have listened. I don't know. Um, if you don't have one of these boards, it's okay. Just relax. Take a breath and just watch the video okay you can always come back to it later you can always do it later you can always listen to my sultry smooth voice okay if you're in the east coast good afternoon if you are not good morning uh, a lot of you are on the other side of the world like uh, pakistan indonesia bangladesh all those places good night i guess yeah i hope you're having a sweet dream you better wake up and watch this in the morning Anyway, <laughs> so here we have the Pi Zero W. I got this a few years ago. I soldered these uh, pins myself. Now, the crazy thing about these modern boards, um, they, okay, so I have a heat sink on mine. I put a heat sink on because I knew I was gonna be trying to do, I was trying to push the board to the limit. So when we're doing stuff like um, image capture and recording um, or, you know, um, stuff with uh, like Wi-Fi, and if you're doing that all at the same time, this CPU is going to get hot. This gets really hot and you need to have a heat sink. Um, the pins are just for, you know, so I can stick stuff in and out uh, really easily if I was testing stuff. So I would call this, you know, kind of my development board. Um, although with the price of things now, I mean, I would just do header pins and I would just take the whole board out of whatever I was making and reuse it for another project until the prices go down. You should not pay more than $15 US for one of these boards. Okay. Don't do it. I'm talking to you. Don't do it. All right. So you're going to need one of these. All right. God damn. I love that logo. Don't you love that? I love that. I don't know what it is. I just love the look of this board. Anyway, check out that, the backside, huh? It's so sexy. Um, I like the name Banana Pie. That also sounds pretty cool. But um, I don't know, I just chose to go with this. You're also gonna need, so we're gonna be connecting to the HDMI, uh, which is right here, but it's a mini HDMI. I'm sorry this camera doesn't focus. Uh, mini HDMI, so you're going to need an HDMI to mini HDMI adapter, all right? I got this in a kit, 
Um, this kit is no longer available on Amazon, otherwise I would link it. Um, if it comes back in stock, I will link it. I can't find these boards in stock anywhere currently, so I recommend just waiting. Um, this is the USB input. We're gonna be using this for like a keyboard. However, your keyboard, you're gonna need a keyboard, okay? Look at this thing, all right? I got this 1997 style, okay, keyboard. All right, it's just a cheap keyboard with a um, normal USB uh, connection. If you have a like a mini USB, a micro USB, I believe that's what's called, that old shitty, old smartphone charger, the pins would always get old really quickly. That's the style, okay? Micro USB, I believe that's what it's called. So you're going to need a converter. And... Um, I do have that. So this kit that I got from Vilros, um, I forgot how much it was. It's like 40 bucks, I think. But it was totally worth it because they, they give you this. The reason you can't use wireless is because when you flash <clears throat> the Motion iOS um, operating system for the CCTV uh, package here, you're going to not have your Bluetooth set up. So you can't connect a Bluetooth um, keyboard or mouse. So you can't interact with the board. You got to do it wired. I'm sure there's a way to make it work um, in, you know, the configuration file or something. I'm not that guy. So, yeah, just just trust me. Okay, now we have the, the micro USB power. Again, I can't wait till they switch to USB-C like the rest of the world. But I understand. Um... Hardware development is expensive and not easy. Okay, so you may also notice there's this uh, little ribbon connector right here. What this is is a very convenient and clean way of connecting things to the board. So you have these header pins. You could also use these. Uh, you can find the appropriate pins and you connect you know, your camera connections to here. But what's an easier way to do that? Ribbon cables, baby. Okay, this is like a 15... 16 line, okay, see all these traces? That's the same as a wire, okay? It's just a way for the electricity to go in and out. So these traces are going to, you'll notice that it's fatter on this end, and your kit might come with, um, like your Raspberry Pi or, or whatever might come with, you know, the standard fat, you know, ribbon cable, and it's usually longer and better. But when you buy a camera like this, this is the Arducam 2, I believe. Uh, I'll link that also in the description. Uh, people use this for Arduinos, Raspberry Pi. It's just this cheap little tiny camera. And you cannot focus it, uh, I believe. Um, it's not focusable. I do want to get a higher resolution, but I think you would need like the Raspberry Pi 4 complete board. Um, the reason is... There's a lot going, you know, it's got a bigger resolution. It's got, you know, better image. If you want higher frames per second, you're going to need a, a computer that can crunch, you know, more stuff. Anyway, so this is the Arducam 2. You can use pretty much any camera that will, that resembles this. Um, I will link this at the end of the, the stream. I'm going to fix my links. Um, I spent most of my time getting the uh, this laptop to not melt, and as you can see, it's struggling. So this ribbon cable, let me, uh, see, I do this all the time. I get distracted. I get all excited, you know? There you go. I'm sorry. There you go. So this thing, I think, ran me, I can't remember, it might have been like $15. It was more than I wanted to pay. Because I knew it was a piece of shit, right? But it's a good piece of shit, and it works. And you don't want to spend too much money when you're first starting out this stuff. You don't know if it's going to work. Um, so anyway, so this connector goes into this connector here. So all you got to do is pull the tabs. Okay, you pull the tab. So it's like in, and then you're going to just slowly... Just pull those tabs out. If you're having a hard time, get like a screwdriver. 
and and do it. And then the traces, the exposed parts of the traces, the shiny part, those are going to go face down. Okay, so here it is. Th these are going to go face down. Okay, so I got the the tape side facing you. So it goes face down. And you just slide it in as far as it can go. Make sure it's relatively flat. And then you push the, uh, the tab back into place. Okay, so it's nice and snug. All right, and that's it. So that's what's so great about this. Is it's just you know really easy uh, for people like you and me to get used to. And um, now we're all set up. The problem is... It's backwards. <laughs> I hate that. So when I make my case for this, I'm going to have to make a case that's like this. I'm going to have to put something here to support the camera, you know, right there. Um, anyway, I'm thinking of using this CCTV in a hotel room uh, while I'm out, you know, out and about. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm just I just want to try it, you know. I've always wanted to try something like that to see if see if I can access it from my phone while I'm like on a beach or something, you know? While I'm swimming with fishes or something like that. You wanna learn bash script? Bash shell? Um are you talking about Linux? I don't have a lot of experience with Linux. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about JTAG. Sorry. Sorry, bro. Um, Linux is kind of like my end game. I want to get good at, uh, the hardware and then I want to, and then the cool thing about, you know, Python and, and, and the Pi and all that stuff is you're going to end up running Linux and stuff like that. And you're going to get into kind of the higher level of programming, and you're going to be working with directories and stuff like that. I am not a programmer per se. So if you, you'll notice uh, if you watch my 3D printing live streams. All right, so other tools you're going to need. That was a long-winded introduction to uh, the Pi board, but this is kind of my first video on the Zero W and stuff like that. So I just wanted to get this all out the gate, and I can refer to this video in the future. You're going to need at least a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Okay. It says 16 gigabyte. Just trust me. Oh, look at these frames. I still look damn good, right? Just admit it. It's okay. Ain't no shame in that. All right. So you're going to need to put this into your micro SD slot. I don't recommend eight megabytes because I feel like that's not enough. If you're going to try and store the images or audio or whatever from the camera, if you have an audio capable camera, if you're going to be storing all this stuff, your chip's going to get filled up real quick. So I suggest at least 16 gigabytes. They're not that expensive these days. You're also going to need one of these. This is a micro uh, SD card um, USB dongle. Um, just This is what I got with my... Uh, whew, drop that shit. <laughs> scared me. All right. Uh, this is what you get with your uh, 3D printer. Usually I got the Elegoo Neptune 3. I got three of them. Okay. Buy that. If you're in the US, I think it's out of stock for pre-orders. It will be coming back in stock in the future. Do not worry. Um, if you're not in the US, you're in Japan, Australia, or the UK, definitely check out uh, my link in the description. I was really close to finishing my first impressions and review of that printer and I got a little excited and I filmed a lot of ridiculous stuff and I wasn't finished editing so I will be finishing that in a few days. I had to go to the beach, all right? Come on. The weather was perfect. You're also going to need a yeah, the HDMI to the mini HDMI converter like I said. And that's pretty much it. Uh, your your Arduino, or shit, not Arduino. What the hell am I talking about? Your Raspberry Pi should be coming with a uh, power cable, okay? Um, and that's it. The other thing you're going to need is a freaking monitor, okay? You're going to need, I have another monitor over here. I have another camera. 
on that monitor because I want to show you what's going on. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to use this camera. I'll just, maybe I'll just use this camera. It's just easier. I'll just turn it around and uh, I'll just show you what I'm working with. So there's, you know, a monitor here. So that's what we'll do, okay? We're going to keep it simple because this laptop, oh geez, it's about to erupt, all right? So, why, yeah, why would you build this? Why would you go through the trouble of making this? First of all, it's badass, all right? Who makes their own CCTV, right? Everybody just buys shit these days. Nobody tries to make anything. Um, people aren't cooking from their own homes. They're getting stuff delivered to their house. You know, meals already prepared. People are too busy and they're too lazy. Oh God, that's terrible. Don't put dark chocolate in your coffee. It like cancels out the coffee. It's terrible. I ruined it. All right, so let's get started. I do have a warning. You're going to need a lot of software for this build. You're going to need to download quite a few things, but it's okay because they're all useful and they you'll use them over and over and over again when you're working with the, the Pi. So it's fine, okay? So the first thing you're going to need is to download um, Motion I OS. Okay, OS I believe stands for operating system. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, maybe it was this. Turn that off. Um, by the way, how you doing? Hope you guys are doing all right. If this stuff stresses you out, if it feels like too much, um, walk away, put this video on pause, go outside, look at a bird, do something. By the way, speaking of birds, okay, before we get into this, okay, I need to show you something, all right? I need to show you something that I saw yesterday at the beach, okay? So I was just chilling on the beach, minding my own business, right? Um, I clean up after myself, all my trash, you know, but there's one thing that is so damn good at the beach, other than swimming, riding some waves, looking amazing. <laughs> it's eating, okay? What you take to the beach to eat makes the entire experience amazing. So I was sitting there eating a cheap ass sandwich because <laughs> I was too lazy and too tired to uh, make my own. And I was eating this sandwich, right? It was dry, the bread was dry, and I was just chomping away. And then, out of nowhere, I get attacked. Oh yeah, I got attacked. This thing came at me at, I swear it was like 60 miles an hour. And it stopped. Right in my face. And everybody's watching me. And I freaked out. I almost fell out of my chair. I was like, what the fuck? And this thing looked like it wanted blood. It was like drooling. It was oozing foam from its mouth. It wanted that sandwich, or maybe it wanted me so bad. And this thing, when you see it, you're going to shit your pants, okay? This thing... There it is. This is your predator. This thing came flying at me so damn fast. You wouldn't even believe it. And it's crashing my laptop. That's how scary this thing is, okay? It's so dangerous. Its power level is over 9,000, all right? It came flying at me and, uh, yeah, it was it was a it was a scary moment, and I had to call for help. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I just teased it the rest of the day. I kept pretending like I was throwing food, and it would go, <gasps> and that's how I got my revenge. All right, so let's move on. Um, I'm going to go to. Uh, so go to Google and type emotion I. E Y E O S. And let me, 
make sure you can see my my window here. Yeah, I'd closed it previously. There you go. Okay, so here's Motion iOS. In the Google search, it says Motion iOS is a Linux distribution that turns a single board computer into a video surveillance system. All right, I'm just gonna turn off my camera because my laptop is melting, all right? So here we go. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot going on and I appreciate whoever made it. Thank you. Uh, it says the OS is based on build root and uses motion as a back end and motion eye for the front end, compatible with most USB cameras. Okay, you can use a webcam. If you have a webcam, just use a webcam. Um, as well as with the Raspberry Pi camera module. Okay, so you don't have to go and buy a Raspberry Pi camera module. You can just do Motion iOS. Now, let's go to the GitHub. That's where you download it. You don't need to download it anywhere else. Just go to the GitHub. Okay, so here we are on the page. Good Lord, frames are dropping. Stay with me. Okay, so here's the, uh, the GitHub for Motion iOS. And you want to make sure you download the right uh, build. Okay, so if you go to installation instructions, um, it says download the latest release, uh, extract the image file, and write the image file to your SD card. So I'm going to click on, geez all releases, and I'm gonna go down to, oh, you know what? This is not where I wanna be. Okay, so you wanna get go to the supported devices. So if you click on supported devices, you'll see Banana Pie, Nano Pie, okay, all this stuff. And you want to get the one, if you're working with the uh, the zero or the zero W that I, like I am, you want to download this one, okay? So you download that. All right, I already have this installed and I'm not gonna go through the installation process. That's your responsibility and your problem. The one thing I need to suggest is if you already have something on your Pi on your SD card, you need to completely delete the partitions and you need to ref, uh, don't reformat it. Okay, just delete all the partitions inside of it. Um, and you'll be fine. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Like if in Windows you type in, in the search, you type in disk management or disk partition and you'll see it all. You need to plug in your USB um, with the, uh, the micro SD card inside of it, and then you're gonna need to find that, and, and you're gonna need to delete the partitions that are on it. You're gonna have to completely erase what's on the chip, okay? And then do not format it. You're not formatting it. You don't need to click on format disk or anything like that. You're gonna format it when you flash the Motion Eye operating system onto it, okay? All right, so let's move on. So now, <clears throat> the, uh, you need to download Belena Etcher. Belena Etcher. So just type in B-A-L-E-N-A -E Etcher. Okay, Belena Etcher is a program that can flash this operating system image file onto your SD card. All right. I'm not going to go through this. There's already videos out there that, that show you this. Okay. I'm just here to show you the, the process. When you install it and you open it the first time, it's gonna look like this. It looks exactly like this. That's really cool that they just put that on there. It's super simple. So you download the version for you, all right? So if you have Linux, you got Mac OS, you got Windows, you download it and then you have your SD card still in the USB slot. You select, um, you select the image, you're gonna click on select image and then you're gonna find it like in your downloads. Um, and then you're going to select the drive and it's gonna be your USB drive. You're gonna select that and you're gonna click flash and that's it. That's all you have to do, 
Okay, that's the easy part. Now, this is the harder part. Okay, this is part two, all right? You still there? You better be, all right? Get a drink of water if you need to, because this is the one that threw me off and the reason why I wanted to make this uh, video. So we have our image flashed to our micro SD card. You can take it out of your computer and you can put it, you can take this out of your computer, all right? So now that you have the image on it, you have motion I O S on it, and then you can put it into your pie. All right, so it goes right in there, okay? Um, except I lied. There's that one part that I just told you. <laughs> See, it's so complicated that it threw me off. All right, so I'm putting it back in. So it goes back in to my USB uh, spot. Now we're gonna have to do something very, very tricky uh, to configure the Wi-Fi, all right? We're not running a hardwired uh, connection here. We're running a Wi-Fi connection. But we just flashed our operating system and the operating system is all fresh, it's all new. It has no idea how to connect to the Wi-Fi here. Now, you're going to have to do this if you really want it to work. And if you do it right, it's gonna work. If I can do it, you can do it, all right? So here's the steps. You need to, oh man, see it's so, it's so difficult, my nose is starting to run. You need to uh, go back to the Motion iOS page and there's some documentation there uh, on the right side and it says WPA underscore supplicant dot CONF, configuration. Okay, so that's a configuration file. This is the key to making this work. You will not get this to work. It'll boot up and then it won't connect. Okay, so you have to get this right. So what you do is you, uh, you, you copy this. You can copy this uh, right here. All right, the update underscore config equals one. This is your country code. So if you live in India or the UK or somewhere else, you need to look up your country code. Okay, America is number one. <laughs> I just realized. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. If you're in Korea, it's, it's 82, right? Number 82. Hey, it's better than dead last, right? Anyway. Don't think about it too seriously, okay? If you if you want to put a comment and, and if you have a problem, if that bothers you, then you need to get a you need to get a new grip on reality, all right? Uh, so here we have control interface, um, VAR run, WPA, supplicant, okay? Network, this is the key right here. Actually, you know what? I have a better version of this. So let, let me just explain this real quick. So in SSID, you have to leave the quotations. I didn't know this. I kept deleting the quotations because I thought they were like, you know, put something in here. You have to leave the quotations in there. And let me make this bigger. Okay, I hope you can see that. Yeah, that's better. So you leave the quotations in there and then you put the name of your Wi-Fi right there. Do not do a 5G connection, okay? So a lot of you will have the more modern connections where it's like a 5G plus, uh, you know, a 2.4 gigahertz connection. Do the 2.4 gigahertz, the weaker connection, the slower connection, okay? It will not, I don't, I, don't, I think it's because the zero W that I have or, or whatever is not 5G capable. It's not capable of that much or that configuration. So make sure I was connecting to the wrong network and it wasn't working and I was getting really, really like sad. So I looked it up and somebody was very kind to share their information that that was the problem. So make sure it's not a 5G connection, okay? And then you put the name of your, your router uh, name in there, okay? So if your name is, uh, you know, people make funny names these days like, uh, I don't know kimchi pancakes, then you write kimchi pancakes exactly how it shows when you connect to your router. The next is your password. 
Usually that's on the back of your router these days. Um, you know, you just look at the back of the router and it says pass. That's where you write that. Remember to keep the quotations. If you don't keep quotations, you're going to be sad. Okay. And make sure you have this curly brace here. If this doesn't work, you're going to need to um, add <clears throat> something. Um, I'm going to show you what that something is right now. Um, Again, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. This is a lot of stuff. This is this took me a few days to get it right. Um, so let me just do desktop. I'm just gonna share desktop. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we are. Let me make sure you can see that. Yeah, you can, okay. We're so professional here at Kimchi Robotics. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, man. Huh? Don't you want to watch the hair grow? Jeez. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like it too. All right. So then I can make more. Otherwise, probably won't. All right. So here's the country. Country is US. I have it in caps. I don't know if you have to do it in caps. If it doesn't work, try caps. Uh, then I have this part right here. So it's, you notice how it's a little different right here? Control interface, directory. Okay. And then I have what it said before, and then there's a space and it says group in caps equals net dev. This was a suggestion on the internet. They said, if you can't get it to connect, um, do this. And then update config equals one. Okay, and then I have network equals, and then I have the curly brace, and then I have scan SSID equals one, um, SSID, and then you put in the name of your router in quotations. Don't forget the quotations and the password, okay? So you're going to have to edit that stuff. You don't need to download this. You just type it in a text file in your Raspberry Pi thing. So I'm going to plug in my USB with my Raspberry Pi Motion iOS on it. Again, if you need to look at how to exactly install that, if you need somebody to hold your hand the whole way, uh, there's people that made videos about that, so go ahead. So it's gonna ask me to, look at, look at this shit. Look at this. Do you wanna format? No. <laughs> Do you, no, no. <laughs> okay, so look at this. So here's my USB drive. So this is what my computer can see. Don't pay attention to any of this. This is just the way, yeah, that's not, OpenTX, that's not, okay. So anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click, and you're going to create a new text document. Okay. And you're going to rename it WPA underscore SUP P P L I C A N T. And then you're going to delete the dot TXT and you say dot C O N F config. Okay. And then yes, you want to change it. Okay. So that's a configuration file. And then in order to get this to work, Okay, so I'm gonna copy that. In order to get this to work, I had to download Notepad++, and I'm gonna show you that, okay? Because I think I didn't install it on this machine. Um, where is my mind? Okay, so I'm gonna go to Google Notepad. Whoops, sorry. Oh, there it is, Notepad++. Let me just make sure. I, I hate downloading, like, from sketchy sites. Okay, yeah, there it is. So notepad++.org, that's where you're going to get Notepad++. A lot of people like to use this. Um, I use Programmer's Notepad a lot. Um, let's use the Happy Users Edition <laughs> on Happy Users. I'm a happy user. Okay, I'm going to download this. So let's rock and roll. And let me do desktop capture so you can see the whole thing. All right. There we go. Save the installer. All right. Just checking my audio. This laptop, I'm very impressed. I'm, I'm very happy with it today. This laptop is a 15 inch 
screen. It is a very budget laptop. I got it for business school and it's tiny. So I'm proud of it. No, I don't want to format. No, I don't want to format. Okay. Now I go into downloads and I'm going to install it. Yeah, baby. Let's rock and roll. I speak English and Korean, a little bit of Spanish. By the way, if you do world travel, do you believe that you have to know a little bit of the country you're visiting's language? That's how I kind of lean. I want to go to Greece. I want to go to Ios, the, the Greek islands. But uh, space available, space required. Oh, I thought it said gigabytes. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to install this. Yeah, that looks good. Boom. Create a short top. Short, short cut. Short top. Crop top. There you go. Okay, here we go. Nice. So this is Notepad++. Very simple, right? It's just a little bit more advanced Notepad. So I'm going to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to close it. I'm going to go back to my USB drive with Motion iOS. This is Motion iOS, okay? When you install it on here, it, it has all this stuff on here. I'm going to go into the config. Oops, supplicant file is gone. Oh, there it is. So you have to make sure that it's spelled exactly that way. So I'm going to open with yeah yeah see this this laptop is melting i'm going to close um this browser <laughs> close damn it there you go okay whoo yeah, this thing's melting okay so i'm going to right click and you don't have to do it this way this is just I mean, you can, you can uh, make the file in Notepad++ first and then save it to here. It's just, I don't know, it keeps me organized. Okay, open with more apps. Where's Notepad++? Son of a... God. Okay. Oy, you know what? Like I said, let's just do it that way. Okay, so I copied this, closing that, and I'm going to open Notepad++ right here. There's a lot of shit you got to do to get this work, but once it works, oh, you're going to be happy. Okay, so I uh, pasted it. Remember, you're going to have to change what's in the quotations, okay, to match your stuff. And um, what I'm going to do is show you a little trick. So once you get your information in there, once you get your country code, all that stuff all correct, okay? Get this all correct and your country correct. You're going to do an EOL conversion to Unix. All right, you're gonna have to do that. What that does is it makes sure that it keeps it in a format that um, is like a Linux format that the Motion iOS is going to be able to understand. That's what that is. So if it's not working, if you're using like a different program and you're like, damn it, like I do everything perfect, it's not working, make sure it's in Unix format right here. This took me like a whole day to figure out. Um, actually, I found the answer. <laughs> okay. So you save that and then it's going to be saved onto your board. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in my credentials and you're going to see my beautiful face while I do it. I'm not going to show you my Wi-Fi here, all right? <laughs> Hell no, all right? I don't need people coming after me. Got enough shit to do as this. All right, actually, you know what? I don't have that info right off the top of my head. Let me check my phone. 
Um, by the way, if you haven't checked out my Instagram, it's hot fire. Okay. Did you not know? Are you serious? You haven't. What are you doing with your life? You haven't seen my Instagram? You're kidding, right? You're missing out. You're missing out. Let me show you something, okay? Bear with me. Prepare to have your mind blown away. Okay. Like when I post on Instagram, it's going to melt your face. All right. And by melt your face, God damn it. Ah. Uh, so much. Anyway. Check this out. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. This is a little intermission here. When I post to Instagram, I mean it, damn it. Check this out. Okay. I lift. I created a new home workout. When I lift, I lift printers, baby. How many spools can you press? How many spools can you curl? All right. I'm talking 3D printers, the Elegoo Neptune 3, link in the description, check it out. It's hot fire, it melts PLA like no other. It's got auto leveling 16, 16 point auto leveling system. I'll, all I do is melt butter all day. I print on a gold plate and I print gold. It just comes out gold, all right? Also, I make sure that my stuff is absolutely secure when I am traveling, okay? If I'm going to the beach or something, I'm taking this puppy with me. I got three of them, though, and uh, you just got to feed them, walk them every day. They'll be fine. So, yeah, check out my Instagram. Also, you'll notice I have my Oculus holsters. They are about to ship in physical form. They'll be available on Etsy and my website, roboticsforbeginners.com. You need to check them out. If you have an Oculus Quest 2, Meta Quest VR, whatever the hell you want to call it, Facebook can't figure out what the hell they're going to call themselves. They're trying to switch to Meta. Good luck. Um, this is what you need, okay? You need this in your life. You need to get this. It comes with two, all right? I'm going to have them available in two colors, maybe three. Uh, you all voted, and the response was mostly just black, um, blue, and white okay very safe so I think that's a good first run is gonna be black and white um, and we're going to be including free holographic and glitter limited edition VR themed stickers that I designed that's correct they are shipping to my to my layer as we speak and um, I'm gonna be throwing those in with the uh, holster pack and you can get them at a discount on my website more than you can on Etsy because, hey, look, Etsy's got to take, take a cut, right? Everybody's got to make money. So uh, definitely look, look forward to that. And you can also download the STL file. The only problem is you got to buy a, uh, a hex screw nut. It's very easy to find, very available, uh, very cheap, but... Some people don't want to do that. They just want to buy the thing. And so I'm going to give you the thing and we'll be throwing in free stickers. And I'll probably be putting in an extra retention clip because I think people might actually overextend it and snap it uh, in the beginning. So I think it'll just be a nice added value to that package. And it'll come with an instructional uh, uh, paper as well, how to use it. So look forward to that and subscribe to my Instagram. It's hot fire. I warned you, it would melt your face. Okay, so enough of that. I am going to edit my thing. All right, I don't want to screw this up. I believe caps matters. And yeah, I got it. Okay.
and it's going to be this. So I'm putting in my credential, my uh, login and password. I hope it's right. If it's not, I'm going to find out, right? So this is going into my configuration file. And I told you this is a this is a beast of a build. Okay, but once you get it running, nobody's gonna stop you. Nobody. And you can do all kinds of stuff. You can put this outside of your garage. You can see, you know, you can make your own ring kind of. Um, like you don't want Amazon spying on you, right? Okay, here we go. All right, so I've tight I've Saved that information. Okay, so I'm ready to go. I'm going to see if this works. If it doesn't, oh, son of a bitch, it's going to suck. But uh, So I'm going to take this out of the USB. Yeah, I didn't want to unplug my uh, camera. Because once you unplug this camera, it, it doesn't work if you try to replug it in midstream. Okay, so I'm taking this out. I'm putting this in. So this has Motion iOS. It has my uh, Wi-Fi configuration files. And I'm going to show you what it is going to output Okay, on the other end. So I'm hooking up my, uh, I need a uh, USB. This is for the keyboard. I think I need a keyboard. I can't remember. Anyway, I think I need one. Anyway, we'll find out. <laughs> We're going to find out. We're going to find out. All right, so now I'm hooking up the power. And I'm hooking up my HDMI. Yo, where'd you go? Okay, so here's my HDMI cable for my... Uh, monitor, that's what you call it, right? In English. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It is a freaking beast, all right? This is a lot of connections. A lot of connections going on. All right, so my monitor is on. You can see the blue light reflecting off my face. I'm going to plug it in, and we're going to see... Son of a... Hold on, technical difficulties. Okay, so I'm just gonna rotate this. And hopefully you can see a little bit about what's going on here. Um, when you first plug it in, it's gonna run the installer. Okay, so yeah, the Pi, there it goes. So there it goes, it's installing uh, Motion iOS. And it's gonna get to WPA Supplicant right here. It's done, okay, so if it says done BRCMF Mac, that means you did a good job. If you didn't, if it says failed, I, I kept getting failed, it just means your WPA Supplicant is not configured correctly. You need to go in and double check, it's all uh, good to go. So now it's starting Motion I, okay. And you can see this is on, all right? So here's a login down in here. Um, it says M-E-Y-E, -E, so my I, motion I-92F71F75 login. Um, it says if you wanna see a friendly user interface, point your web browser to the IP address of this board. Now, here's the last um, crazy part that you have to do, okay? Um, you have to type in the IP address. But first of all, if you got this far, pat yourself on the back, all right? Give yourself a hug and uh, subscribe, like, follow, go to my Instagram, okay? Come on, all right? Uh, congratulations, you are a big person now and you're gonna do big things. This thing is so cool, all right?
So you don't have to install anything for the Motion iOS to work. Um, what you do is you go to the, uh, the login of your, so you have to type, in your browser you have to type the um, IP address of your Raspberry Pi because you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So your computer, if you if you type in, you know, that IP address of the Raspberry Pi that's also connected, it's going to let you to access that. Okay? So that's what's going on. And then it's going to bring up a browser window. I'll show you in a minute. On your browser, you control it through your browser. Um, it's really cool. You don't have to install anything. It's coming from the Pi to your browser. So one thing you need to do, though, uh, is figure out that IP address. And there's different ways you can do it. One of the ways that people suggest is to download something called uh, Angry IP Scanner, <clears throat> okay? So I'm gonna type that into Google. You're almost done, I promise. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go too far today. Um, we can look at the different options later. Um, by the way, if you made it this far, I appreciate you watching. I know it's kind of boring, but look, you're going to get this value the entire time, okay? This is a limited edition right here, all right? <laughs> um, I hope you guys are doing well and gals. Um, stuff's not easy. It is not easy, but I feel like the reason why I will not give up on this stuff, I feel like in the near future, there's going to be a massive shift, okay? We're already seeing a massive global shift in the economy and it's it's going to be for the better in the end but there is a there's some real shit going down economically and if you're not prepared uh with skills and if you don't know how stuff works you're going to be shit out of luck i'm very serious i'm not like a you know prepper or doomsday guy i it's just something i feel down in here okay and this is where i think i don't use my brain to think it doesn't work out for me. I'm, I'm like the opposite of, you know, most people. I think from, from here. And, uh, and then I use my brain to kind of, you know, figure out the details. I guess you could say I'm very intuitive. My intuition never fails me. <clears throat> never. It took me a long time to learn. So anyway, I feel for a long time that... There is going to be a massive shift, and if you don't, if you're not into 3D printing or Cricut machine, is it Cricut or Crycut? I like Crycut. Why do they call it Cricut? Anyway, those little uh, the etching machines. We have all these automatic machines, CNC. If you just do woodwork, if you know how to do woodwork, or um, if you're a welder, this is like the maker economy, right? I'm getting all excited, and I'm all caffeined up on this really shitty coffee that I made. Please learn from my mistake. This is the perfect opportunity right now to jump in. Just jump in. Find There's so many tutorials out there, right? The problem is there's not enough hours in the day. And if you're like me and you have a lot of obligations and you have um, things or, or people that you have to take care of, that takes a lot of your time. I mean, just cooking a meal, right? You have to clean. You have to cook. Then you got to clean again. Right, and you gotta make sure it tastes good. If it doesn't taste good, the whole day is ruined. Right? Might as well not eat. So, yeah, there's just like there's no time. I wish, I wish there was more time in the day, and um, I wish I had started this in my teens. I wanted to, but I had no idea where to start. And now I think, you know, our, if you like Arduino, do the Arduino. If you like um, Raspberry Pi, do Pi. Do you like banana? Whatever. I don't. It doesn't matter. You just have to start getting into something and you need to stay focused. That's the other part that um, people are going to have to learn is um, how to how to focus. Like as a society, we, you know, I watch Instagram reels and, 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 and YouTube all, all the time, right? Um, mostly to study what, how other people are doing it. But yeah, I get a lot. I, I listen to a lot of stuff. I watch a lot of stuff. And um you know, the content is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. So if you made it to this part in the video, you should be proud of yourself. It's getting shorter and shorter. So the people who are able to sit down and relax and focus 
and have goals and don't give a shit about what anybody else is saying or doing. They're just laser focused on getting something made or accomplished. Those are the people that are going to rule this planet. You know, and you don't have to be like a rich son of a bitch, but you could be happy, right? And you can have everything that you need. Um, there's a lot of people who made a lot of money by complaining and being negative or just going to shitty jobs, you know, and just answering phones. Like that's not, <laughs> that's not a career, you know, like that, that doesn't do any, that's not it. Right. And that doesn't make people happy. How many happy people do you know that like work in a call center or some bullshit like that? I've worked in a call center. It was absolute garbage. Um, and it was a good one too. It was a good one, but it sucked. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people in this world that don't have skills. And if there's going to be a global economic shift, get ready, know how to do stuff. You will be happier. And, uh, people, if you have people that depend on you, you know, they're going to be happier too. So anyway, that's just my two cents. Um, life is short. Why not, uh, enjoy it instead of playing Roblox all day. All right. Cut it out. All right. So let's get back into this rant over. There will be many more rants to come. Okay. So here we go. Whew. So close to finishing. So I'm going to download angry IP scanner. Let me uh, share this again. Um, there we go. Okay. So I'm at angryip.org. Um, so I'm going to get this download because I'm going to need this when I go to a secret island. Um, it's a safe one. It's a good one. Um, and I'm going to set this up and I'm going to need this program. Current Windows installer. Okay, so here we go. Did I click it? Yeah, I did. All right, so we're going to install this. <clears throat> My voice is running out. It means I got to hurry up. <sighs> Nothing like bottled water. Tastes like shit. Got to have running water. That clean water. Okay. Is it done? I think it's done. Okay, so I'm going to install this. We installed a lot of stuff today. A lot of stuff. But you'll notice, like, you know, there's other videos out there, but uh, <laughs> they're not mine. So that's what's going on. By the way, if you're a creative type like me and you really struggle with this, let me know down in the comments. Okay? Let me know. I'm going to desktop capture. All right, where are we? There you are. Okay. I wonder if you can see this. Yeah, yeah, just install it. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Okay. I will get a, my streaming set up better. <laughs> I can't even speak English. I will get it better in the future, I promise. You guys just got to have patience with me. Uh, no, I'm not saying anonymous. Or, okay. All right. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I've done this before. Close. All right. So here you go. Angry IP scanner. This is really cool, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to start. So you have the IP range for 192.168.0.0 to 255. I believe that's 8 bits. That's a byte. Yeah, 256 bits, 0 to 255, that's one byte, right? All right, so I'm going to say start, and here it goes. I'm looking for Raspberry Pi, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, allow access. Okay. All right. So I'm looking for something that says Raspberry Pi or Pi. Um, oh, here's my. No, that's not it. Oh, that's it. Oh. 
Okay. The IP address of the board. Okay, so I'm looking for the IP address. It looks like it's this one right here. So you see it's got the green light. 192. Okay, so it's 0 0.20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... So you can log in with your keyboard plugged in, um, or you can do it through the browser. 192.168.020. Okay, so I'm gonna try that. Oh, I'm gonna open that up again. Yeah, I'm going to wrap this up soon. Don't worry. It's been kind of a boring stream, but you know what? I really, really enjoyed the Pico OLED one, and I got a lot of views. I mean, it's I got views faster than most videos other than YouTube Shorts, so I was very happy to see that, so I think people are looking for it. And eventually, I'm going to combine my 3D printing, um, custom 3D printing builds with electronics. Um, yeah. There's a lot to work with, so it just takes time, like I said. So 192.168.2, uh, wait, 0.20. That 20? Is that it? Is that not it? There it is, right there. Okay, so the username is going to be your motion eye login. So on, on my screen, okay? So on my screen, it says M-I-Y-E dash 92F71F75. F75. Let me make sure you can see this. Yeah. Wait. Oh, it's desktop. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Actually, desktop is better than... Yeah, let me turn off window capture. Okay, so desktop is on. That's good. That's actually better. Okay, so I'll close out the IP scanner. Very cool tool. I love it. I feel like such a hacker. <laughs> um, so the password is admin. A-D-M-I-N. Um, you can change it later. Oh, shit. I got it wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the username is admin and the password is blank. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. I forgot this part. Hold on. Oh, I had it working the other day. It's on my other computer. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So the username. You know what, I'm gonna have to go and look at the, just give me a second. Um, I'm gonna go and look at the uh, Motion Eye. It was in the Motion Eye OS documentation, the, the default uh, stuff. But the good news is we are connected. It's all set up, it's, it's working. It's just, we gotta get through the door. Um, I'm very excited. Actually, to be honest, I didn't think it was going to work. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to work. Uh, you know, I, used to, I have tons of problems usually, but, uh, Hey, if you stay positive, good things happen. Yeah. Um, if I access point. Do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. No. I'm actually gonna look at a, a tutorial. I have it saved, I have it bookmarked on um on my other computer.
So, um, anyway, if you got this working, congratulations. You're officially a badass, all right? What I want to do with this Motion iOS is uh, I do want to use it as like a CCTV, and I want to access it from my phone. Uh, I saw there was a way to do it. Um, yeah, the default login. Oh, shit. Did I make a password? I might have made a password, and I don't remember that I did that. I might have... I might have... I might have made a password. Okay, I got in. 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 So I did, okay. So if you're logging in the first time, the uh, the password is just going to be uh, the, the the login ID is admin a d m i n, and then the password is blank. Okay. What I did was I had already run this on my computer at home, and I set a password for it. <laughs> I don't know why. I think I was just playing around. Um, so let me let me bring this up for you. Again, I, I, excuse my stream setup. Okay, my my stream deck's broken. I got to fix that. I, I got nothing but problems, uh, but everything's going well. So, like I said, we stay positive here at Kimchi Robotics. Here we go. Look at this. I am in. Okay. Look at this. Okay, there I am. Pretty cool, huh? So notice there's some uh, settings down in there that I can set. Um, <laughs> the uh, You can set the frame rate. You can change a bunch of stuff if you go into, wow, 97% usage. Okay, so... I have the date here, and then I also have the time. This time is not correct, by the way. And then I have base. I just labeled it base. Um, let me make sure you can see this. Yeah, looking good, yeah? Um, I'm going to have to switch to desktop capture, not window. That way you can see the menus. So here it is, Motion I. This is the name that pops up on my screen, OK? Um, so that's my, I, I guess my ID. Um, so you click on here and here's the preferences. So you can have different, uh, layouts. You can have different, uh, oh, it's so hard to click on this stuff. So you have different columns. So I have one column. So if you had like multiple, I think if you have like multiple cameras, you can set up, you know, different columns and stuff like a freaking, like a, like a, like a layer, okay? Like John Wick's house or something. Fit frames, vertically, layout rows. Look at all these options that they included. This is awesome. So they have rows, columns, uh, frame rate dimmer. I don't know what that does, but there's, if you highlight, it says dims the global frame rate to save network bandwidth and traffic. Doesn't work on simple MJPEG cameras, probably what mine is. Um, resolution dimmer. Okay, so you can bump stuff down. <laughs> My surveillance username is Big Boss. That's hilarious. Um, so yeah, so you can set all kinds of stuff. And down in video device, so I gave it a name, CCTV. Um, this is the actual, and for, you don't have to worry about that stuff. But the camera ID is one. You can give it, you know, different IDs. Um, automatic brightness. So I just turn that on, and it, I just noticed it, it did a little bit of a, uh, like a bigger thing. Hold on. Okay, okay. I was just making sure that you can see this. I get really uh, paranoid. 
Okay, so video, video resolution is 800 by 600. You can change that, obviously. But watch, like my pie is getting hot. It's getting hot. And um, let's see. My frame rate is 10 frames per second. Let me bump it down to 640 by 480. And then let me bump up the frame rate. When I bumped it up yesterday, it got like real hot. So this is 20 frames per second. At 640 by 480, there's 30 frames per second. Although I don't know if either the camera or the Raspberry Pi Zero can tolerate that. But if it's a CCTV, like if somebody's moving, this is good enough, you know? You can capture something. This is more of a CCTV type thing. Like I said, you can use a better board, you can use a better camera, um, it's up to you. And then file storage. This is probably the one that you're wondering about. So here you have the file storage, right? So you can make your own directory. You can, you can point it to where you want it to go and save uh, your video. Okay, it's just a bunch of images, right? It's just taking a bunch of images. That's what CCTV is. That's how they can save a bunch of video data for a long time. Lower frame rate, you know, crappy quality. We can see all the shit in space, right? And perfect clarity, but we can't see, you know, a thief that comes within 10 feet of the CCTV camera. Go figure. Uh, so you can see the disk usage. Um, this is just, this is stuff that you're going to have to go in and you're going to have to configure yourselves. Just play with this stuff. There's so much to do here. Tons of stuff. And look at this storage device. You can, you don't have to save it to your Pi. You can save it off on like another computer or something. You can have it being saved, you know, to something else. Text overlay is on. So I have base, you know, like, uh, what if, what if I type in, um, John Wicks house. And I push apply. Oh, maybe I can't have an apostrophe. Oh, it's this root directory thing. I think that's, I think that's what's uh, giving me a problem. Anyway, I think I think I touched that. I uh, I think I accidentally touched that before, and so I screwed it up. Um, Oh, there we go. I just decided to save it to there. Okay, so you click apply to uh, change your settings. And uh, man, this thing is rocking and rolling. You can do so much with this, guys and gals. By the way, if you're a lady, shout out to all the ladies watching this. Okay. Uh, glad to have you here. Do appreciate me some ladies. Uh, so look, it says John <laughs> John Wick House. So it's all like, you know, jumbled. I can make this smaller. Yeah, look at that. All right, so you come to John Wick's house, you're going to get your ass kicked, all right? Just warning you. So video streaming. I love how whoever created this, it says Callan Chrisan, copyright Callan Chrisan. This is an amazing program. This is incredible. Um, and I can't believe it's free. Um, I love how you put all of these, um, you can hover over these um, uh, question marks and it gives you an explanation and and, and it's clear what it means. Enable this if you want video streaming for this camera. And then you get streaming quality, frame rate, image resizing. Look at all this. There's the streaming port right there. Man, there's just so much you could do with this. So I hope you guys like this. I hope you um, learned something or you just enjoyed seeing my beautiful face one more time. Um, make sure to check out all the links in the description below. Look at this, you got motion detecting. This is what I'm interested in, okay? I accidentally just turned on all that stuff. So yeah, you can turn off the text overlay. You can turn off video streaming. 
still images, um, movies. Okay, motion detecting. This is the one that I want to use. So if somebody comes into the room, you know, you can tell it, you know, uh, how sensitive to be. And I'll probably play with this a few times uh, before I go uh, on my trip. But uh, I'm just very, very happy with all of this. And I hope it works for you. If it doesn't, leave a comment. Um, don't be negative. Just, you know, keep a positive mindset. That's the only way you're going to get through any of this stuff. Um, I'm going to close that out. Ah, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh, hey guys. How you doing? Lame skill issues. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, it is cool. So, um, I just love playing with the shit and, um, I will be making a 3d printed case and, uh, plugging this in and maybe I'll be watching you. Okay. So yeah, check out the links in the description below. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do with the holsters and making sure those are all ready to go. Um, until then, stay grounded, stay positive, stop being, don't be a little bitch, don't cry all day, don't complain, um, go for a walk, drink some coffee, bench press some weight, all right? And be a, be a badass that you were born to be. All right, see y'all next one.